Let's break down the new MW3 limited time event releasing. We have the boys versus the seven. We'll go through the challenges, the rewards you're getting, new operators releasing, and much more. For release info here, of course, season one is releasing on Wednesday, December 6th. The first major in-game event should be that holiday event that I talked about in my previous video that would be linked down below. We went through a bunch of info about what we're getting for Christmas and New Year's, but the boys event should be shortly after probably after the reloaded update at some point in January and February. A bunch of stuff is leaking out for this event, which means that it's releasing sooner than later. So this will be before the Walking Dead event that also got leaked out and before other future events that I'll talk about in different videos. So pretty exciting stuff here. Of course, we saw this last year. It's returning again from W3. Let me know down below your initial opinions and impressions on that. But before we break down some more stuff here, quick shout out to U4GM. If you need help getting MW3 mastery camos, rare unlocks, and much more, they have safe and legit services to help you get the camos fast and easily they have cheap cop points rare unlock codes and much more use code matt for an extra five percent off checkout links are down below but first off again what did we see last year for mw2 how did the event work what rewards did we get because it's going to be important to see how they model this boys event is it going to be the same type of stuff or will they do a complete overhaul from what we saw in mw2 to make it a different event a different feel so when you're playing the boys event this time around it's going to actually be a different experience so for last year the event was similar to the path of the ronin event we saw a couple of months before that where pretty much you had different weapon classes and you have to complete challenges for that weapon class to get a specific camo that you would unlock on the weapon class and then a final mastery camo if you completed all the challenges for all the weapon classes pretty standard stuff here for example it would be get 50 operator headshots using assault rifles get 25 operator kills behind using battle rifles mounted marksman rifle kills all standard stuff like that it wasn't really too difficult it just may have took a bit more time than others depending on the actual weapon class you were using so if you got all the ars done first you would get this camo for all the ars in the game a universal camo for all of those ars which was pretty sick overall but if you got all of the other weapons done you would get this final red the boys camo a mastery camo which was pretty sick overall. I'm not so sure if it was animated or not, but it was cool, vibrant, definitely a, a pretty sought after camo from an MW2 LTM. Now, I like the style of that format. It made sense for that time, but we already know based on the challenges, this is not where we're getting here. We're getting a bunch of different separate challenges for multiplayer, for Warzone, and for zombies as well which are all going to give you different rewards here. Now, the rewards, maybe they'll return, although with the carry forward feature, if you unlocked those camos and the boys camo, especially back last year, you could still use it in MW3. So it would kind of be weird to re-release the same camo. And if you already have the boys camo, you're not getting a reward. So I guess it's good for new players and people that didn't get it back then. But, you know, I, I would hope that they actually release new mastery rewards there maybe have it so you could still unlock the boys camo again for those who missed out and then also a new mastery reward as well you know we'll see what they end up doing there but overall hopefully we have all new content there but in terms of the actual challenges let's go through what leaked out because these are pretty interesting and they reveal a bunch of new ltms for the boys mode different abilities and features again the title of the event is the boys versus the seven two different you know factions from the storyline from the show for the first challenge get one operator heat vision kill in the boys mode second one deactivate 20 pieces of equipment using ddos get 45 operator kills using the mtz 762 get two operator kills in a single life with the overkill vest equipped five times get 15 operator akimbo kills and get seven operator kills using lethal equipment so all pretty easy and standard challenges overall of course you have a separate boys mode that was revealed there which is pretty sick which we'll talk about in a second but for the boys side of the event here again these are all mp only challenges the first one is get three operator kills without reloading seven times kill five operators affected by electrical discharge in the boys mode get 10 operator tax hands kills using the kv inhibitor collect 25 temp v syringes in the boys mode get 25 operator melee kills with the black light flashlight equipped win seven games of the boys mode and finally for the boys mastery reward complete all six event challenges and i'm assuming for the seven side of things as well there will also be a master rate reward as well and again we have the mp challenges as of now but we already know we're getting a whole set of separate war zone challenges 
for the seven and the boys and a whole set of separate zombie challenges as well which is pretty crazy a pretty expansive event so it seems like here for every ltm we're gonna have all separate challenges now if the ltm is like the makarov event or the cotton diamond event those are just xp progression challenges which of, of course you could just get xp in any mode those are pretty simple small challenges that only last a week and not really a big deal but for bigger collab crossover events like the boys event the walking dead event all the different stuff we're gonna have all different challenges for all different modes which is pretty sick overall now as i've said in previous videos the rewards we're getting will probably be the same for all modes there so if you complete the mp challenges for the seven and the boys you're gonna get the same rewards as if you complete the zombie challenges for the seven and the boys i mean that would make the most sense there but if they have different rewards for all different game modes that would be kind of insane let me know down below if you would want to see that i guess that would be cool but then not everyone would be able to get all the rewards depending on if you don't own mw3 but you do own warzone you know or vice versa you might be missing out on certain content they might not want to do that but overall it'd be a cool way to you know make people play all different modes and it would be a pretty expansive event if they had all different rewards so let me know down below if you want to see that there now, of course just like last year it seems like that temp v field upgrade is returning to the event so pretty much what it did it was that it would give you the powers of four random superheroes the first one would be electric shockwave so the super emp blast creates an electrical explosion that damages everything within a radius including operators ai combatants vehicles and equipment we have laser vision as well so like homelander's power this will allow your character to levitate and fire laser eye beams that obliterates enemy targets you had charge jump as well this jump allows an operator to vault into the air and land dealing a splash damage to everything around it you also don't take fall damage as well so you can use it to jump from any height which is cool and finally teleport this was a very useful ability that could help you escape or advance toward an enemy so it seems like all of those abilities will be returning with temp v here in this mode they may add new abilities as well new ways to play the boys mode but overall based on the challenges it probably will be pretty similar to what we saw last year which is fine not a big deal I, I do want them to switch it up a little bit not just bring the same exact ltm back but i don't mind you know a similar vibe at least returning it that's definitely fine by me and for new operators here we are getting a bunch of new ones so back in mw2 we had a couple different operators available we had the starlight bundle the homelander bundle and the black noir bundle as well but we're also getting new operators here from the actual show the boys versus the seven operators are a train and firecracker supposedly that's pretty cool now my suspicion is that these will be new bundles available but you might also still be able to get those old bundles as well i'm pretty sure they're not available in the store anymore of course if you already got homelander back then you could still use him now with the carry forward feature but i'm pretty sure you can't still buy them they'll likely make it so these bundles are available for purchase again so if you didn't get homelander back last year you'll be able to get him again but also get the new operators as well now a lot of people were saying that they should release soldier boy from the show and billy the butcher as well two pretty cool characters so that could definitely be possible here of course the event isn't fully out yet there's a lot of leaks still coming out regarding this event so let me know down below in the comment section if you really want to see these characters here return get added to mw3 and warzone it's definitely entirely possible i'll be sure to update you guys once we get more information on that but that's pretty much it here for this video be sure to subscribe for more cod update videos like this let me know down below your opinions on the boys versus the seven event what other crossovers events you want to see in the game let me know down below shout out to future channel members as always and i'll see you guys in the next video or live stream Peace out, guys.